And here we are in the pink forest. Desperately trying to find a quartz mine. I've been wandering, as you can probably see. And I am right at the top of the world. Well, <laughs> as high as I seem to be able to get in the local area anyway. Saw a few interesting things on the way up. Lots of interesting views anyway. No quartz. And this, of course, is very interesting. I've seen some of the big balloon-like trees from below. But they only seem to grow up on these very high plateaus. Completely different biome to down below. I think I've seen one of these plants before. Plus one leaves. Okay. I think I may have to cut down one of the big balloon trees for scientific purposes, just to see if there's anything in it that hasn't shown up before. Who knows, maybe it's got quartz in it. Probably not, of course. I sort of have an idea where the quartz is. I cheated a bit and had a look at an online map, but uh, it's not quite that easy, unfortunately. I know it's near a limestone uh, deposit. And... I'm not sure if I've walked past it or it's hidden quite where it is. But it's interesting to explore the forest. I think this small one is probably going to be the best one to cut down. I hope you get some of the mycelia. I think that's the word. One day I'll press the right button first time. Sixteen mycelia. Okay, not really worth the effort. Seriously overloaded. I've been wandering a while looking for this quartz. The way I got up here was mostly by building uh, lookout towers, climbing to the top of the lookout tower and then using my jetpack to, well, then either building another lookout tower or a foundation and then another lookout tower on top of it and then climbing a bit further until I could either use the jetpack or walk. I recycled it all behind me as I went, so... algae on the water it looks like
Well, there's something new. I did run into one plant that I unfortunately didn't catch on video that pulled itself out of the ground and attacked me with uh, poison gas. <laughs> so I'll have to catch that next time it happens. So I can show everyone. Doesn't look like these guys are going to attack me though, which is nice. I don't think I'm going to cut one down. It seems like all the plants are pretty much made of the same things. That's a strange looking tree. Skeleton. It's hard to say. source. Interesting. In a place with so many waterfalls, it's surprising that we don't have hydroelectric as an option. And there's the good old space elevator. Hard to get lost, really. I've heard I can move it it's not in the best spot in my base, so I may actually do that next episode. They look like coral. Any moment I'm expecting poison darts to shoot out of the end of those things on that tree, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, which is great. Haven't seen many animals either. I assume one day they'll populate, hopefully with a, a specific uh, group of species for this biome. Looks like dawn is coming. So let's see if we can spot this limestone. It is not to my north. It seems too far away in the west. I may have gone too far. So I must be nearing the edge again, I think, or a higher altitude. Oh, that looks nice. I might have to get a picture of that. It's 
Still nothing that looks like a quartz mine though. Or quartz deposit. I may have to cut to a point where I've actually found it. Here we are. I finally found it. it. Wasn't too far from where I was and I had gone a little bit too far uh, to the north. So this is the basic base I've set up with the equipment that I had with me. Just two uh, Tech 1 miners with some bio burners to run them. Once I work out the path back to base, I'll be able to connect them to the same grid. But we have a purple slug up there, which I am going to have to go and get. Because I've never seen it. We've got two purple slugs up there, I believe. I may just grab one of them, because... I think that second one is going to take a bit more work to reach. And I want to, a bit more time than I want to spend on it at the moment. Caterium. Yeah, it's okay, I have enough of that. He's just above me here. Bacon agaric. I always need bacon agaric mushrooms. I should actually be able to make a few of the medical inhalers when I get back to base. I might have to do the old lookout tower trick, I think. Good view of the little base down there. Just storing everything up into two separate crates. I'll take what I can back with me. I'll make a little uh, tractor to take me back, I think. Hopefully I'll be able to drive all the way back. these days I should pull out the chainsaw and see if I can cut one of these things down. But they are kind of useful a lot of the time. Of course, limestone. Lovely. So you can see I made a little home away from home equipment manufacturer and a uh, crafting desk. Tractor it is. Oh 
hopefully I've got enough to do the research and make the first few things I need. Never noticed any performance difference between the different kinds of fuel. I wonder if there is one. Now I came down from above, so I'm not really sure where the path is. you see here is a power cable and this looks like the power cable that runs to the Katerium mine and the oil so if I'm not too silly and I pick the right route here I will know where I am yep that's gonna make it really easy that's really good it's a shame I never noticed that particular branch on the path before One thing I found out from looking at the map online is it's absolutely huge. I could have wandered forever looking for the quartz. quartz. Hopefully I won't run into the other truck. Play a bit of chicken. Not seeing any lizard parrot today. Almost home. And here we are back home with our precious cargo. Okay, well I'll get on to researching that and I'll see you everybody next time.